right, guys, welcome to English Absorbed, the English learning channel where you can absorb English with me. My name's Jesse. Let's get started. Let's go. Today, we are going to learn some Australian slang as quickly as possible. I'm going to give you the word, then I'm going to give you the definition, and then I'm going to give you an example of the slang being used in context. Now, please remember it is slang, not slangs. Slang. Slang is uncountable. Let's get started. Avo. Avo. Avo means afternoon. I'll see you in the Avo. Yeah? You want to see me in the Avo? All right, let's do it this Avo. This Avo? Yeah, let's do it this Avo. 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 Avo is short for avocado. Do you want some avo on your sanger? On my sandwich? Yeah, I'll have some avo on my sanger. Barbie. Barbie is short for barbecue. Oh, mate, Breno's got a barbie uh, this afternoon at 3 p.m. You want to come? Nah, I don't like Breno. Bail. To bail. To bail is where you cancel your plans. You bail. You had some plans, but you say, sorry guys, I've got to bail. I can't do it. Oh, you coming to the Barbie this afternoon at 3 p.m.? Nah, I got to bail. I don't like Breno. <laughs> Bathers. Bathers. Bathers is a very common word in Australia for swimsuit or anything that you wear when you go swimming. It's actually just the word that we use, and I didn't really realize that it was slang myself. Um, when I go to the beach, I bring my bathers. Uh, we're going to the beach, love. You got, a, you, got, you got your bathers? Oh, okay. I'll just look for my bathers. Beauty. Beauty. This is an expression, an exclamation that means great, fantastic. Oh, beauty. Oh, did you see my new car? <laughs> oh, yeah. Beauty. A block. A block is a case of 30 beers. They could be stubbies or they could be cans. They could be stubbies or they could be tinnies. They could be bottles or they could be tinnies. Mate, Breno's having that Barbie this afternoon. You, uh, you want to buy a block? You want to go halves in a block? Yeah, let's go down the bottle and we'll get a block. Did you get that? Next. Bloody oath. Similar to beauty, bloody oath is also an exclamation, which means, um, what does bloody oath mean? It means, yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, Australia is a great country. <laughs> bloody oath. <laughs> a bludger. A bludger. A bludger is somebody who bludges on the doll. They, they're lazy. They try to get things off other people. They don't do anything. They are a bludger. A doll bludger. It's a little bit politically incorrect, but that's all right. Uh, Breno is a bludger, mate. He is a bit of a bludger, isn't he? He doesn't do anything. He's always asking me for money. Yeah, bloody bludger. A bogan. Oh, you've got to know this word if you come to Australia. You've got to know the word bogan. A bogan is somebody, oh, it's difficult to explain. Every country has their own bogans, but nobody has bogans that are like Australian bogans. I think it's most similar to the American word white trash. A bogan, somebody who uh, loves to listen to loud music, they're a bit uncultured, sometimes they're not pleasant to be around, but there can be good bogans who are very pleasant to be around. Oh, Breno, he's a bit of a bogan. Breno, that, that Breno, mate, he's a, he's a bogan. <laughs> You're a bogan though. Yeah, we're all bogans though. That's all right. Booze bus. A booze bus. When you're driving, sometimes you run into a booze bus, but that's okay because you haven't drunk any tinnies. You haven't drunk any beer. A booze bus is where the police have that big bus. They'll stop the cars and they'll get you to <sighs> blow into something to prove that you haven't had any tinnies, you haven't had any beer. 
Oh, mate, I wouldn't, I wouldn't leave Breno's Barbie. I wouldn't leave the Barbie because uh, there's a booze bus on Beaufort Street. <laughs> oh, there's a booze bus on Beaufort Street. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to be driving then. A brolly. A brolly. A brolly is, well, I don't use this one, but it means an umbrella. I just say umbrella. Um, mate, it's raining outside, so uh, bring your brolly. No, I don't need one. What do you mean you don't need one? <laughs> Happy to get wet. Brekkie. Brekkie is short for breakfast. Every day I have brekkie. What did I have for brekkie today? I had wheat bix for brekkie today. That's what I had for breakfast. Darling, darling, brekkie's ready. I don't know why that person was British. Oh, brekkie's ready. Great. Thanks, love. Budgie smugglers. Ooh, budgie smugglers. Speedos. Speedos. When I go to the beach, I definitely don't wear budgie smugglers. I wear board shorts. I wear boardies. Budgie smugglers, sometimes old men wear them. Uh, you know, you know, basically not much. Not much when you're going swimming for the men. Budgie smugglers. They're called budgie smugglers because it looks like they're, they've got a budgie down there. <laughs> oh, look at that, bro- <laughs> look at that bloke in the, in the budgie smugglers over there. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, I wonder whose dad that is. The bush. The bush. This is classic. The bush is classic. The bush is, um, you know, anywhere outside of the city. Because in Australia, the vegetation, the kind of plants that we have is, is bush. Mate, do you want to come to Breno's Barbie tomorrow at 3pm? <laughs> nah, Breno's a bogan and I've got to go out to the bush. Chock-a-block. Chock-a-block. Oh, it's full. It's chock-a-block. Chock-a-block means full. Full of people, probably. Oh, I tried to go to Woolies today, but it was chock-a-block and I couldn't get the yogurt. Haha, <laughs> mate, I wouldn't go out tonight. It's chock-a-block down there in Northbridge. You'll probably get, you'll probably get slammed. <laughs> yeah, I don't like Northbridge when it's chock-a-block. Feels a bit edgy. Yeah, <laughs> A bicky. A bicky. A bicky is short for biscuit. Do you want a bicky? Do you want a biscuit? You probably do. You probably do want a bicky. Mate, I had a few too many bickies last night and I am fe- I'm feeling a little bit crook. I'm feeling a little bit sick. Mate, stop eating so many bickies. Just, just stop eating so many bickies, mate. A chook. A chook is short, kind of short. It's short for chicken. A chook is a chicken. Ha <laughs> Breno's got some new chooks. Oh, that bludger. He's probably, he's probably going to steal their eggs. Chrissy. Chrissy is a nickname that we use for Christmas. Today is December the 18th and Christmas, Chrissy, is in seven days. <laughs> it's in one week. You better get your prezzies organized. You better get your ducks in a row. Mate, uh, where are you going for Chrissy? Um, just going to eat crayfish at, um, Breno's. <laughs> I wasn't invited. A cobber. A cobber. A cobber is a good friend. This is something that you can call your friend instead of mate. If you don't want to use mate, you can use cobber. And in fact, I recommend it. G'day cobber. How you going? Oh yeah. Good. Thanks, mate. Good. Thanks, cobber. The coppers. The coppers. Nobody likes the... No, no, I like the coppers. I like the coppers. It's the policemen. It's the policemen. They're all right. In Australia, the coppers are definitely all right. Uh, my, my, my cobber, he's a copper. Your cobber is a copper? Really? Yeah, my cobber is a copper. My mate is a policeman. Good, crikey. Crikey is also an exclamation that means uh, that you're surprised. (laughs) Oh, crikey. If you see a snake, you're probably going to want to say, crikey, because you've seen a snake. Oh, crikey, mate. I was at Breno's the other day. I was in his backyard. (laughs) There was a bloody snake. There was a bloody snake in Breno's backyard. It's it's because that bogan never cleans it. (laughs) I'll say. Crook. Crook. Crook is an adjective that means feeling a bit sick. Oh, I drank, 
I drank too much oat cappuccino and I'm feeling a bit crook. And then I ate a bicky. I ate a bicky and I started feeling a little bit crook. Oh, yeah. Mm. A crook is a noun and it's the same word, but it's a homonym. It's, it's a homonym and it means something completely different. A crook is a criminal. A crook is a criminal. So my mate, my cobber, <laughs> my cobber, he's a copper and, um, and he catches crooks. Oh, your cob is a copper and he catches crooks, does he? Crikey. Are you getting it? Your friend is a policeman and he catches criminals. A dart. A dart. A dart. Every country's got their slang for cigarettes, don't they? My favourite in Australia is a dart. <laughs> Jesus, mate, I'm feeling a little bit stressed. Have you got any darts? Have you got any darts? Yeah, I've got a couple, but not going to give them to you, you bludger. A dag. Oh, a dag. Some, a dag's an interesting one. It's somebody who's not very stylish. Somebody who's not very stylish and they're a little bit of a nerd. They're a little bit of a geek. They're a little bit of a dork. Australians can say a dag. A dag. A dag also means something um, a little bit more disgusting, but you might be able to Google that one. Huh, what are you wearing, your dag? No, oh, this is my new t-shirt. What's wrong with my new what's wrong with my new t-shirt? <laughs> You're such a dag. <laughs> oh my god. Your dax. Your dax are your trousers. Or your trackies. Your tracky pants. They're your dax. Your tracky dax. Your tracky dackies. Are you confused yet? Dax are pants, but especially tracksuit pants, which we also call tracky dackies, which we also call tracky dax, which we also call dax. Mate, look at your dax, your dag. <laughs> What's wrong with them? I just bought them as well. <laughs> oh, you're such a dag. Dead set. Dead set. This one's similar to one we saw before. Bloody oath. Dead set. Bloody oath. That's true. I agree. Dead set. <sighs> Mate, I'm worried about Breno. Dead set. Devo. Oh, I'm Devo. Oh no, I'm Devo. Oh, why are you Devo? Oh, I brought these. I bought these new Dax, and they don't fit. Oh no, Devo. Devastated. Devastated. Devo means devastated. Guys, thank you so much for watching English Absorbed. That'll that'll just about do it for the Australian slang. But if you want more. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.